Hello everybody, welcome back to Channel Smithshake's Custom Baits. Rick Smithshake here. Uh, today we're going to continue talking about a bass's eyes and how they see. Um, due to eye placement, bass can see in basically a 180 degree arc in almost every direction. Their only blind spots are directly behind them, directly below them, and to a lesser extent directly above them. Um, and I know last week I said that, that I don't think the book talked about how far bass can see. I was wrong. It does. So I stand corrected. Um, scientists believe that even in the clearest of water, the bass can only see 50 feet. Not very far, is it? Bass can see things out of the water. And scientists think that that, that window that they can see through the surface is a circle, circular, okay? And that the farther away the bass is from the surface, the smaller that circle. And the closer they are to the surface, the bigger that circle gets, right? So yes, they can see us, okay? They can, and it, I've seen bass get spooked. You're just walking up, trying to sneak up to the water, or even other fish too get spooked just you're trying to sneak up there and you wonder how they got how they how they saw you well they, they can see us <laughs> um, a bass's eye is constructed so that in a manner in, in a manner that um, that the lens extends out of the pupil which prevents the pupil from being able to be contracted or expanded in order to regulate how much light comes in. Okay. This probably explains, at least in part, why bass like to hang out in the shade. That and the fact that, that um, in the shade, it makes them harder to see <clears throat> from the prey. It's harder for the prey to see them and stuff too. So um, <clears throat> not many studies have been done on a bass's vision. However, there have been lots of studies done on their close relative, the bluegill. Okay. The bluegill has pretty, they have good vision acuity. It means they can see detail pretty well. So the bass can probably see um, detail pretty well as, all, as well. Um, but neither fish... The acuity of their vision is isn't as good as ours. Ours is much better. We we like to we like to um to project how we see and hear uh, onto other onto other creatures, fish, dogs, cats, yarn pets, whatever um, that they really can't that they really can't um, experience things the same way that we do. It's just like with like like land animals. Some land animals they're they're um, sense of smell is far better than ours. We can, there's no way we could experience the world like they do, right? Or birds of prey, their vision is orders of magnitude better than ours. What would it be like to be able to see like an eagle does or a hawk, you know? Um, various fish species, their eyes are um, are designed to operate in very in different types of of uh, light conditions, um, like a walleye, for example, their eyes are designed to operate in much better in the dark or very low light conditions than other fish species. Um, carp and minnows, their eyes are designed to operate very very well in bright light. Um, bass are kind of in the middle; they operate. Their eyes operate best in low light conditions like um, overcast days, um, dawn and dusk, um, <clears throat> and the shade probably. Okay. Um, Dr. Don McCoy, and we talked about him previously a little bit, um, determined the bass are good at seeing colors from red to green, but weak in violets and blues. Their highest color discrimination was in two areas, from yellow to green, 
and from yellow to orange. Frank Brown at the University of Illinois trained bats to react to correct colors, and they'd get zapped if they reacted to the wrong colors. Well, as part of this, he determined that, and I'm going I'm I'm to pay close attention to my notes on this because I want to make sure I get this right. Um, Bass easily distinguish between minor shade variances in reds and greens. Intense yellows could also be discerned easily, but lighter yellows and pinks seem to appear to the bass as just a light color, not any particular color, but just a light color. Um, similarly, as the spectrum switches from green to blue, their color vision fades out entirely. Okay, so greens and blues, or not greens and blues, blues and purples, and to a lesser extent, dark greens and dark browns, they just appear as something dark to bass. Okay? Reds, the really, really, um, uh, really strong shades of red have the exact same effect. So here we are again at the end of my notes for, a, for another video. Um, I'm saving these so I can review those. I won't necessarily have to watch the video. I can just, well, I, you know, I probably, I don't know why I'm saving those. Because I can just watch the stupid videos again and, you know, and do this. Um, <laughs> but um, next week we'll pick up right where we left off here. Um, hopefully this gives you guys more ideas. Um, go ahead. Feel free to make comments and ask me questions, whatever. Um, if I haven't covered something thoroughly enough or been clear enough. And I'll look in the book and see what we can, see what I can come up with. Or just, I might already know the answer. Because um, I've actually read the book twice now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> But uh, until next time, folks, if you liked what you saw, hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button, too, if you haven't already. That'd be great. Um, we're almost 760 subscribers now, I think. Yeah, I think. Some, 757, I think, or something like that. Um, almost 1,500 hours watched. Thank you, everybody. Everybody, thank you very much. Even if you only watch for 10 seconds, thank you. Um, it all counts. It all helps. Um, and share the videos. Okay? If, you, if you share them, more people get to see them, more people learn, and more people subscribe, and more people, more people, we get more watch time. So we hit those goals a little quicker. So um, anything you guys can do to help out is greatly appreciated. And uh, until next time, folks, tight lines, calm waters, and God bless.